Hello guys, this is Feeding Friends in 91 and it's the first video with, with the new title and um, I'm bringing you some Journey of Jesus the Calling gameplay and I know that most of you would know this is a Christian game on Facebook but even if you're not a Christian, just check out this game. I mean, it's really good. It's a very detailed for a Facebook RPG, like what you can do in it. Like right now, I'm in my hometown, right now I'm just gathering up herbs and coins and stuff and I can't go there because more level 3, you can't go there because more level 3. And it's pretty detailed, like, you unlock places as levels, you have this hometown you can travel to at any point in time, from between missions, and you have plenty of side quests that really to keep you busy. Like, right now I'm just making clay for the urns. And, even if you're not Christian, just check out this game, it's pretty fun. So, we're in this game, and right now I'm in my hometown, and I'm just picking stuff, but... Let's go to a mission, shall we? Alright, so you see that lady was standing by the uh, chimney thing. I'm gonna go talk to her. She wants me to go with her to Galilee, so let's just go to her, talk to her, yes. And we're off to Galilee to do the next mission. Alright, so see, now we're in Galilee. And just like true RPG fashion, music changes. <laughs> anyway, but once again, I'm gathering stuff and if you would notice that there's plenty of people around that you need to have, that you need help, and like to do the missions, a lot of these missions, some of these missions actually require choices. But we'll get to that later. I love the dialogue in this game. That the fact that they actually have the player saying stuff. This is not just the silent protagonist. Not that there's anything wrong with the silent protagonist. Like Link from Zelda, he's good as a silent protagonist. Honestly, if you ever watch the Link cartoon, he's better silent. Just trust me on that one. But, um, this is actually pretty good for, um, the dialogue is very detailed, like, I'm gonna talk to these two guys, I'm gonna get to say stuff, they're gonna get to say stuff. Now, thing is, a lot of the dialogue, if it's a side quest, you get to choose, and it seems like even for some main quest you get to choose what you're gonna say. Of course with the main quest you have to do it anyway, but with the side quests, you don't, it seems like some side quests you don't have to do, so, there are plenty of people to help, but I gotta gather this stuff first. And actually, this game is a little more complicated than it seems because, like, that lightning stuff you notice I'm collecting actually is energy. Without that energy, I wouldn't be able to um, do anything. So I wouldn't be able to gather, I wouldn't be able to forge. But we're gonna get that later. I'm gonna actually run out of energy later. So, once again, so when I get to the area, first thing I like to do is just forge. And I'm just gonna open these two paths right here so I can get these people to help them out. All right, now if you can look, this woman is lying on the floor dead. Now she's gonna ask me to help her out. Now. Like in true Facebook RPG fashion, I'm not going to be able to just immediately help her. In true RPG fashion too, if you were able to help everybody in one in every single area, then it wouldn't be an RPG, now would it? You're going to have to ask my friends to help her. So I'm going to go here, go to friends, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you all the details, but I'm just going to show, click on friends, and you get to choose any of your friends. You can just select mark all and then mark 50, and maybe someone will send back, but I, I chose, but I'm not going to show you that. And I don't have enough gold to help her, so I have to have friends. And then I'm going to talk to this guy, and I think this guy is actually Satan. And um, this is actually a more accurate depiction of Satan than most people get, because most people depict him with red horns, and, you know, with um, really looking evil, but really, think of it. When the devil tempts you, you don't... it doesn't look evil, it looks good. And this is a real de good depiction of him. Look, he looks like an angel. Other than that tiny bit of dark essence around him, you can swear this guy is an angel. So, anyway, I'm gonna chop trees around him, and he says, you wanna get more acquainted? No, I don't feel like getting more acquainted. Anyway, so I'm gonna chop trees around him, gather some stuff. But like I said, this is a really good depiction of the devil. With, with the way he's described, actually. In the Bible. Once again, if you're not a Christian, um, that's fine. But, I mean, I mean, it's not, but, um, if you're not a Christian, just, uh, you can... This game is still really fun. And, like, here is some of the choices. You can choose which way. Now, the thing is, I've met this girl before in a previous level of the game. And yes, she has changed from what she was before. She was a whore before, I believe. And now she's not a whore anymore. And it's pretty pretty good. Like, like you can meet people that you met before, see their changed lives. It's a pretty good game, overall. So, I just told her, you know, encouraged her, and then you gotta come over here again. Now, if you notice on the left, I'm about to run out of life. I'm energy. You notice on the top, 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 where the lightning is. I'm about to run out of energy, and 
When you run out of energy, you have to once again, in true Facebook fashion, ask friends. And you know, um, or you could buy it with money, of course, because it is Facebook app, so you buy money. Of course, then I can't do anything. Look, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna um, go to my map because just like an RPG fashion, you got your map, good old map. And if you notice, there's plenty of places I could go. I could go back there. I could go to where I am. I could go back home with the that little button on the right. Now I can't really do anything because I don't have energy. So I'm gonna go just click that little button on the right, go back home. And now I'm back home, and um, I'm just gonna end the commentary here. Now I don't like Facebook games, but this game is great. Even if you're not Christian, you should check out this game. It's just the RPG elements of it are really good, especially for a Facebook RPG. Anyway, like I said, I'm just gonna end the commentary here because I'm out of energy. So um, like, subscribe, and God bless you all. Thanks for watching.